Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on the J72 Gaming Channel. My name is Jacob, but you can just call me Jay here. And today, I'm super excited. Path of Titans has had a huge update. I'm sure most of you have heard about it, but if not, they finally brought into the uh, game the diet system. So, yeah, you can see <laughs> Squeaky Thorn here is <laughs> giving us his excitement. Yeah guys, so they've they've added the diet system. Basically, there's a bunch of new foods in the game. There's like, uh, there's ant hills, there's termite mounds, there's different types of fungus, uh, and they've also readjusted how water works in the game. So basically the water uh, all the lakes and the and the ponds, the more they're drinking from, the quality of the water is going to drop. And eventually it'll get so uh, low, the quality... Thorn, I'm speaking here. <laughs> so eventually the quality is going to drop so low that the fish die and it, the water's all muddy and stuff and we won't be able to drink from it. So I figured today I'm going to hop back into the first dinosaur I ever played in this game when I first checked it out. That's going to be uh, Thorn, the Sarcosuchus. Uh, we're going to dive into him so I can really test out uh, what that looks like and how the muddy water works and, and, and all that. But on top of that, I'm really going to be trying to explore part of the map that I've really wanted to explore, which is Grassland Lake. Now, a lot of you guys have let me know that... Um, uh, Corpse Cove is kind of the location where most people go and hang out, or at least used to before the update. We'll see how that changes with the water system. Um, but the Grassland Lake is the section of the map where the more realistic uh, realism players go. And that's really kind of the player that I am. I, I like uh, really kind of diving in and, uh, and really experiencing the game as much... Uh, close to realism as I possibly can. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into Thorn. Uh, something I want to mention too is, oh, here, I'll hop into edit. I actually, um, I had Thorn with the default skin. Uh, I went ahead and customized a new backer skin because um, that was what I chose when I purchased the game. You get to buy, uh, you get to, when you buy the game, you get to, choose one dinosaur to have the locked backer skin and i have that for the sarco so i made it a little bit gold a little bit unique there um so we're gonna go ahead and dive into him and you'll be able to see his skin changing uh so let's see i eat fish and shellfish i think the shellfish are new so that's awesome and yeah everything else is the same so let's go ahead and oh i spawn in the water interesting i mean that makes sense that's pretty cool they did uh they did adjust the spawn system very cool. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see here with the map, I'm not very far from where I want to go. I'm up here in the northwest, and Grassland Lake is the very west lake uh, over here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get there. But I probably logged into the same server that I was in before, because my Sarko is already a little bit hungry and thirsty. And check this out. That is new. Oh, come back. I want to see that. If you guys can see, it actually shows you the percentage of the water. So right there, this lake is at 71%. Um, quality, I guess. So that is very cool to see. Uh, so I'm going to fill up here and let's see how much the quality drops with about, I don't know, about half of my water going up. That green skin kind of fading to gold looks really cool too. I, I'm really, I'm going to be a big fan of this golden tail. I do think I'm still going to be doing the quests um, if I can. You can see that my quest is to kill a Campto. So uh, I'll keep an eye out for one, um, see if we can get it. I, I believe that's like the, the camel looking <laughs> dinosaur. I'm not not too uh, too good on uh, Path of Titan, Titan's dinosaurs to be honest. But okay, let's see. Oh, we can't see the quality because I'm already full. I see, I see. Maybe we'll give it a few seconds here. Um, in fact, let's uh, let's look for some fish and catch some fish and get my hunger up as well. Yeah, you can definitely tell that the water is already a little bit muddy. It's not super clear, so that's cool. Here's some fish. Come here, you. Oh, I missed. Let's try that again. Got to be a precise hunter here. Oh, jeez, come on. <laughs> Come on, we got this. All right, Thorn. He's he's already tired. Low stam already. Man, these little guys are hard to get. There we go. Got one. Nice. <clears throat> go ahead and munch that. I wish I actually uh. Let's try to catch another one because I saw a new HUD there, similar to the new water HUD. There's another one. Come here. Come here. There we go. Got him. All right. So if I stop here, it should show us that new HUD. Cotton arowana. Cool. So it'll tell me the type of food I have. That's very, very interesting. Also, my f 
did my food go oh no it's going up i was gonna say for a second i thought i saw my food go down i was like hmm maybe i'm not supposed to eat that specific type of fish <laughs> um something they also changed you can tell that it's raining so rain will actually increase the quality of the lakes now which is really cool so rain is a very good thing and it kind of is a way to reset the map right um i think the lakes do kind of reset over time um just naturally but the lake is a way to kind of like boost it really quickly so that's i think that's awesome uh and actually here there we go that's so i was at it was at 71 percent and i drank for a minute it went down to 67 but it's raining so it went up a little bit so hard to say exactly how much it drains but it doesn't seem to be too much per one person but the that's good um the point of the water quality system change is so that a lot of people can't just hang out in one spot that's that's bad and that will drain the uh the whole map so i'm gonna go ahead and let's sit here and get my stamina up before we get out to grassland lake and can i fit through here oh i definitely can nice let's go ahead and hang out here oh oh man that got a little buggy okay well ignore that <laughs> that's not that's not the best uh the best angle there thorn um but he's just gonna hang out here i wonder what this looks like from the outside my head's sticking out probably that's funny. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out here, get my stamina up and running. Um, I don't want to be caught out in the wild with no stamina. And then yeah, we'll head on out west and take a gander around, look for some different food types. Um, hopefully, we bump into some people because I don't think everyone's gonna be hanging out at Corpse Cove anymore. Uh, and yeah, we'll get over to Grassland Lake and see what uh, shenanigans we can get into. I actually took Thorin out of his uh, his little glitchy spot there just to uh, get him out here to sunbathe for a second. I had a thought. I think it would be really cool if they implemented um, kind of the sun, whether it's out or not, and ha and make it so that the Sarko's stamina will increase faster if the sun is out. Because, you know, that's that's how reptiles work when they're cold-blooded. They, uh, they have to get all their energy, basically, from hanging out in the sun. And, uh, ooh, look at that shot. Look at that sun rays. And, yeah, I think that'd be a very cool addition to the game. So I might might drop that into the uh, suggestion box. But anyway, let's head out. I think I actually might have heard somebody. But let's head on west and, uh, yeah, like I said, get into some shenanigans. Oh, I did hear something. There's for sure someone to my right. He seems heavy. He sounds heavy, too. What could it be? I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but I, I definitely hear thumps. Mm. What could it be? Let's let's take a gander. It's a stego! Who immediately is like, get away. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight you, bro. It's okay. <laughs> He's shaking his tail at me. He's like, no, 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 no. That's funny. You're cool, man. I ain't gonna mess with a stego. Give him a little bark. You know, stay away, man. I, I don't want to deal with your tail. <laughs> He's got a cool skin, though. Green. Pretty realistic. Alright, let's head out west, like I said. Leave this guy to his, uh, to his own endeavors. <laughs> He's staring me down sorry uh <clears throat> this is what i was talking about last episode with the waystones how some of them are on really cool locations so just, yeah just want to point this out the northwest waystones like up in there on the rocks it's pretty solid pretty solid okay but i'm gonna let's get some uh get some distance here and get off to where we want to be today now i will say it's pretty exciting that we already saw another player pretty much in the middle of nowhere um, I was reading some comments on the Path of Titans Discord um, a few hours after the update came out, and people were saying how they've already bumped into random players where they've never bumped into people before, right out in the wilds, out in the middle of nowhere. So not only has the water system kind of helped change that, um, but I do know that they also changed the spawn system uh, an update ago. So the combination between the two is really helping diversify the map in the sense of spreading out all the players, so that's fantastic. Oh, check it out. Here's one of the new foods. So I can't eat that, but that is one of the new um, food systems for somebody to munch on. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, I've made it to my second pond. Just for curiosity. Oh, the Soft Sand Brook. Just for curiosity, let's see what the quality of water here is. 100%. Yeah, so players don't really 
Don't really come out to this brook very often. I'm gonna leave it be. Um, I like letting my food and water drop pretty dangerously low, so I can get, um, uh, so I can get the the quest there. But did you guys see that? That is a new food that I can eat. Scallops. Very cool. Um, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna pick those up and take those with me for a little bit of a snack on the road. Always good to have that with you. So that's cool. Uh, I can eat scallops as a Sarko. Something I gotta get used to when playing the Sarko is the stamina meter. Um, take a look in the bottom there, you can see just how slow it goes up when walking. And oh, obviously I can sit down, I can I can sunbathe and, and get it to go up faster. Um, but just watch how fast it goes down when I sprint. It, it just depletes insanely fast. Like, <laughs> it's, I've gone like, what, 20 feet and it's gone. It's insane. Um, so yeah, you really, you really gotta kind of just, just kind of walk and cruise with this guy. Um, even, even kind of resting here, it goes up pretty slow. So, you know, very different gameplay with this guy compared to uh, like the Iguanodon that I was just playing, um, or the Aliorimus or something. Uh, it's good that all the dinosaurs are very different. Um, but when you're used to playing some of those guys, this guy might feel a little bit sluggish, uh, specifically out of the water. Um, but I mean, he's a croc, so that makes sense. Thorn seems to be enjoying himself though. Look at that happy face. He's like, yeah, sunbathing. <laughs> With a scallop, too. Ooh, I hear someone. Sound is kind of small. He's up above. Can't really sneak up on anybody. Whoa, Thorn, whoa, whoa, what is, <laughs> what is going on there? That was funny. Can I sneak through here? Oh, geez, what? Oh. This guy's up above me, gonna watch me do all this nonsense. That's funny. Uh, okay, I can't get through there. Oh, I just saw him. What was he? I'm not sure. He's uh, he's up there. I need to go around, though. <laughs> As you guys saw, I'm not getting through that little gap. Alright, there's a better way. Oh, hello. This guy gonna come for a fight? Oh, he's getting out of there. <laughs> he's like, nope. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> you got the heck away from me. Little as you know, I was I'm pretty chill right now. I've got I've got my scallop in my mouth. I wanted to come check out this water pool though, and because I'm still curious on all these qualities, just kind of how each pond has been getting hit. Oh, I think I need to eat my scallop. All right, snack time. Um, nom 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 nom. How much does that give me? It's barely any, like a very, very small amount. Okay, uh, and this is at 100%. All right, again, gonna gonna let my stuff drop for that uh, survival quest. But I might get some food here because food's a little bit harder to get than water. Let's see if there's any any fish hanging out. Might be kind of too small of a pond for them to spawn. Yeah, looking like looking like it's pretty empty. There was that one small fish. I don't think I can catch. Um, let's find out. Let's let's see if I can get that little guy over here. Oh, probably not. Oh, he's really tiny. Yeah, that's just gotta that's gotta be just for aesthetics. Okay, well, moving on. This is a pretty good pond besides besides the lack of food to hang out in, but. I am very close. I'll throw my map up for you guys. You can, you can see just south of me is the Grassland Lake, and actually on that island in the middle of it is my very first death location in Path of Titans. Um, if you guys go check out my very first video, um, I trusted another Sarko player over there because he gave me a friendly call. He did the squeak, right? He did this thing, which <laughs> I'm already laughing. I still find it hilarious. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. But yeah, I gave him that as a friendly call, and then he friendly called back, so I trusted him, and uh, that was a mistake. He definitely munched on me, came up, and he got the first bite, so, you know, we were trading shots, basically, but I got hit first, so it was it was GG. Um, so I'm definitely not going to be trusting any players this time. Um, I'm coming to Grassland Lake to kind of play realistically, and I want to be the Alpha Sarko, so if I see other Sarkos, I'll, you know, I'll let them know, hey, I'm, I'm a threat, I'm gonna fight them, uh, and I'm gonna really try to surprise some dinosaurs that are getting a drink of water. That's kind of my goal today, and, and play the true, true crocodile life style so we'll see how it goes but that's the plan first plan though is getting the heck down this hill which is easier said than done 
this might be my route here. Yeah. All right. Let's uh. The speed. You always gotta get a, a speedy downhill run per video. Yeah. Not bad. Honestly, pretty quick. I mean, Stam's gone, <laughs> but pretty quick. All right, guys. We are approaching Grassland Lakes. Oh, and I already see. You guys might not have saw that, but there was already a little bit of a raptor running by. So people are out here. And I don't know if he saw me, actually. I doubt I could sneak up on him, but if he's down here drinking water... Oh, come on! That was close! Yeah, I ain't catching him. Yo, that was so close, that snap. He got lucky. He got so lucky. <laughs> oh, is he coming back? What are you gonna do, bro? You can't kill this. <laughs> oh man, I missed. I wonder if actually I might have got him, but I doubt it. I heard I heard a a clamp and not a not like a flesh wound sound. All right, but let's dive into this water. Let's see what Grasslands Lake's quality is looking like. 1%. Oh, that's dangerous because I need water. In fact, let me, here, let me check down, down here. And, oh, yeah, super muddy. Can't see a thing. Wow, yeah, people haven't drinking here. Okay. Well, in that case, I need to go. I need to worry about water. Um, so I'm going to head over to this other lake. Let's swim through this one. Um, keep our eyes out for any other sarcos or whatnot, and uh, yeah, try to get to another pool of water pretty much ASAP because this guy moves slow on land, and I need to, I need to get water now. Check this out. I also don't know if they changed this, but I kind of naturally snapped to the surface, but I'm not visible on the surface, so it's allowing me as a player to kind of peruse. Oh, look, there's a guy. Oh, there's a few guys. Ooh, I might be able to get a stealthy kill here. At least attempt it. Yeah, 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 let's give this a shot. I'm out of stam though, which is really bad. Let's see if he hears me. Surely. Oh yeah, he's running. Ah! It's because I'm loud, for sure. Like, I'm sure they hear the water moving around. Yeah, he's barking at me, he knows. They know. <laughs> All right, that's fair, guys. I'll, sh I'll show myself. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Just a few barks back and forth. All right. What's scary is actually I need to go where they're going, so I'm gonna I'm gonna disappear so they can't see me and uh, get out of the water somewhere else because I don't want them to find me and attack me on land because I think I would probably actually die on land uh, against those guys. They'd be uh, much more nimble and able to to get around. Um, but yeah, my water's dropping. Uh, and my food's actually gonna be a bit of a concern too. So I'm really hoping that this next watering hole has the quality that I need to be able to drink. Um, so yeah, let's let's stealthily get out. On this side, probably behind this rock. Luckily, it's foggy, so they can't see me. Oh, there's some scallops. You know what? Let's munch on some scallops before we uh, before we take off here. Wonder how many. I could probably just munch on these for a while. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah, go to town, Thorn. Have at it. They don't seem to give a lot of food, which is fine. They're just kind of snacks here and there. Uh, not the biggest meal, but that's cool that those are there. They can kind of help stave off your hunger. Okay, off to the risky land crossing to get to the next watering hole. Um, but I'm already enjoying the water quality system because it has already added gameplay for me, right? I would have gotten here and just kind of sat around, drank out of the water, kind of waited for dinosaurs to, sh to show up. Um, but no, like the game has forced me to move. I must go somewhere else. And now I'm in this, you know, pretty scary situation where my water's low because where I was planning to drink, I wasn't able to drink. So fantastic addition, Path of Titans. It's really fun, really cool. And honestly, guys, I might die. <laughs> I might not survive this. Uh, we're gonna have to find out okay so the water is just up over here luckily if you, you can see on the right i already have 
the find and drink water quest. So that'll be a cool, quick 50 coins. And I think I already have 50, so this will actually get us enough to get a new skin. The backer skin's really cool, uh, but I, you know, I, I like unlocking them. And, and plus, I named this guy after Thorn, a uh, dragon from Iragan, and that is a green dragon. So I want to make this guy as green as possible. Um, but here, here's the moment. Is this going to have the quality I need? Oh, it looks a little muddy from here. Oh, no. That is not good. Okay. I'm going to head south as fast as I possibly can. Because that seems to be the closest water. Water quality too low? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Let's get on over there. I'm going to swim because I'm faster. Oh, man. This terrain is not easy to navigate. And I do not have time to be dealing with these cliffs. Oh, I'm sweating, guys. This is like my first time in Path of Titans that uh, I'm pretty worried about my dinosaur here. Usually it's been very easy to survive, and it's already proven to be a little bit on the edge of death <laughs> for, for Thorn here. Uh, I think I will make it, um, but oh man, is it going to be close. Uh-oh. There's a huge wall to get past before I'm able to get to my water. Uh-oh. Am I going to be able to climb this? Let's try right here. This seems the least the least steep. Come on, Thorn. Your life literally depends on it. Nope. Oh, he's doing the hippity hop thing again. Okay. Uh, let me all turn out of here. Oh, now he's like sliding. Woof. All right. Well, we'll go around this way and hopefully we can find an opening. Actually, it looks, looks like it does kind of open up here, which is good. Um, <laughs> my water is getting dangerously low. I'm so nervous, guys. I don't know if you've ever died to um, starvation or thirst in this game. I let it happen once just to kind of test it, and it's it's pretty quick. Like, as soon as your water's out, you die very, very quickly. It's not like in the aisle where you slowly start, like, ticking damage, and so you, like, die over the course of, like, two or three minutes after you've hit zero. This is pretty much, like, within 20 seconds. Um, so this is it. If this doesn't have the quality I need, I am a dead Sarko. But honestly, it's looking good. Yes, it's good. 78%. Drink up, Thorn. Awesome. Okay, this is going to get me that 50 coins I was talking about. So after this, I'm going to go swim to the bottom of that lake and log out. Um, or maybe I'll find a bush or something. I might be a little bit safer. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll uh, go check out a new skin and try to find a really cool green one. All right. There's our coins. I think I'm good off water. I'm going to go find that spot and uh, let's check out some skins. Oh, look at this. Never mind. Ah, why am I out of stam? Is he just going to let me kill him? Okay. I would have I would have taken off, buddy. But um <laughs> All right. Well, that was one of my first like legitimate kills. <laughs> he just kind of sat there. That's so he was there the entire time I was drinking water. The entire time. Interesting. I'm not sure why he didn't, you know, bolt. But uh, hey, it kills a kill. I'll take it. Wow, he barely filled me up. It was only like I don't know, 15% of my food or something there. Interesting. Okay, let's find a good spot that is nice and safe. Whoa, this place is deeper than I thought. Alright, this spot right here looks pretty secluded enough. Go ahead and uh, log out, and let's check out those skins. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. So this was the default skin I used originally, and then here's the backer skin. So we've got something called Mangrove, which is pretty cool. Kind of like gray and white. I'm into that. Speckled, very blue. Not as much into that. <laughs> uh, gray back. Okay, I like the I like the tail there. It's like kind of uh, almost like looks like digital camo. Like each scale is a different color. That's pretty neat. Uh, we've got lagoon. Oh, that might be the green one. Check it out. I can. I learned I can kind of test the skins before actually buying them. So yeah, this one's got a lot of green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lagoon might be the one. Uh, but let's take a look at all of them here. So we've got Bayou, oh, which isn't too much different from Lagoon, to be honest. Um, 
as well as uh, papyrus. That's they're all very green. Okay. Uh, wow. Same with olive. Okay. I don't think it's going to be very hard to find a green one. Speckled's pretty green. Albino's not even that albino. Uh, and then melanistic is very black. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with lagoon. I like I like lagoon. That's very cool. So let's go ahead and unlock this for 50 coins. Hold on. I thought it was 100. They might have changed that. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I wonder if I can then... No, 100 to get to the second skin. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, pick the first one here for all of these. And Thorn is back in green. A little dark, too. I, I like that. Very cool. Okay, so we're going to confirm that and get back in the game. And uh, I know I need to find more food. So let's go fishing uh, as my skin changes from gold to green. And I'm going to keep my eye, eye out for some other players. Oh, there's a player. He doesn't see me yet. Was that a Sarko? Oh, let's go over here. I don't know if he saw me, but I'm going to try to make a water attack. He might see me enter the water here. Nah, I should be good if I stay low. This might be a, this might be a potential attack here. That's a lot of food sitting there. Okay, let's get low so he doesn't see me. I'll save my stand for when I get close. And let's sneak up on this guy. Surely he didn't see me. Okay, should be over here. He, he chose to sit underwater, which is an interesting option. Where are you, buddy? I'm gonna hunt. Oh, oh, another Sarko. Oh no, that's a giant, giant fish. I don't want that. I'll eat that if I can't get the other guy. Where is he? He was like right here. Maybe he logged out. Maybe he saw me coming and bailed. Hmm. Interesting. The vanishing dinosaur. Where did he go? Huh. Okay, well, he vanished. Strange. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. Interesting. Okay, well, no problemo. Uh, we will just eat one of those big old fish that I saw, because uh, luckily this pond's quality and health is very sufficient enough for me to hang out here. Where did those giant fish go there's one come here buddy you look like a good meal yoink one shot one kill nice uh an ara arapaima interesting never heard of that type of fish before let's go out here and eat it and see how much it gives us we're at about what 55 percent or so so let's go ahead and see what that is gonna be and it's looking like looking like a good chunk good chunk oh all the way up okay that's about yeah those things give about 50 percent food very cool uh but of course they only spawn in rivers that are healthy and i i know that when the quality hits zero quality of water of the lake hits zero uh fish won't spawn until the quality of the water gets back up to 75 so it could be quite a while before the quality gets back up so I'm going to go ahead in here and drink some of this water, really top off Thorn here. Uh, and then I'm not sure. I'm going to I'm gonna think about what to do for the next uh, little bit of this episode. Okay, guys, looking at the map here, I think I've decided to go check out all these little lakes kind of to the east of Grassland Lake. Other players are probably thinking to go to Grassland Lake because it used to be the realism kind of hot spot for players to hang out. Um, but they're going to hit the same issue that I hit. Uh, where the water quality is very low um, so they're gonna have to go somewhere else to get water which is why we might have been seeing some people here because they you know they took off here for the same reason that I did was they could they needed a drink of water and they couldn't go there so yeah I'm gonna head back uh, up west or sorry northeast I don't know why I said west <laughs> um, and I'm expecting there to be a little bit more players out there and so hopefully we can get kind of a kill um but take a take a look my skin has fully shedded and thorn is looking mean and green and 
fits his name a lot better. Uh, the, the backer golden skin, very cool. Uh, just wasn't for Thorn, you know? Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, get on going. I had to make a quick stop for uh, the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, you guys know how it is. So a little bit of a discussion topic I'd like to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. What do you guys think about these kill quests? Now, part of me thinks, like, you know, the first thought I have is, yeah, of course, that makes sense, right? You're playing a dinosaur game, uh, dinosaurs hunt to kill. Ooh, red ginger. Hold on. Hold on. Pause that thought. What is this? Red ginger. So I can pick it up, but I can't eat it? Huh. Maybe it just lets me interact with it, but it's a food type of some other dinosaur. I'm going to put it back down. I don't need it. Interesting. Yeah, that's that's something that they added. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so, but yeah, back on that comment that I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about the kill quest? Um, so, like I'm saying, uh, it was, obviously, it's it makes sense to have kill quests in a dinosaur game, because dinosaurs go around and kill each other. However, I think the reality of these kill quests is when you get the quest, very often, at least in my case, I get the kill quest, and I immediately know that it's going to be very 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 hard and very long time wise for me to get that quest done right the chances of me coming across a dinosaur to be able to actually kill is pretty small right i as far as a uh, sarco i gotta be really opportunistic um and you know you guys saw me i, I did kill that one guy um but he should have gotten away honestly like i didn't really deserve to kill that guy he 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 messed up and so that was more on him messing up than it was me doing what i needed to do to kill him so for me to specifically be able to kill a dinosaur and then for it to be specifically a camptosaurus can take very 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 long so i don't know uh i like that they're in the game but they're also probably the hardest quest to get done in the game so it's a little bit of a back and forth for me um i would love to hear your ideas on what you guys think about um the the kill quest specifically Okay, well, as you guys did see, I did make it to this lake here, and it was at 100% quality. Um, so that lets me know that nobody's really been out over here. Uh, this river does extend this way, so we're gonna be we're gonna be a true Sarko and kind of stick to the waterway here. And if I show you guys the map here, water goes a little bit north, and there's that whole river that goes all the way up to that water right there that water is one of the closest ones to grassland lake um and keep in mind this one as well in the middle of my screen was also at zero percent water quality so both of those are bad so people might head to this one next um so i'm not gonna plunge myself down the <laughs> waterfall but we will make our way down the river and continue to go check out what's over there actually guys this is pretty risky but they did change the fall damage, so I kind of want to test that, and if Thorn dies, he's like, what are you going to do, bro? He's Look at his worried face. He's like, uh-oh, I know where this is going. Uh, if I do die, not the end of the world. You just respawn, and it'll give me a new quest, and because I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this Camto, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so let's see if this kills me or not. I'm going to gamble and say yes, but they changed it so that your velocity and speed and weight and everything it calculates to be a little bit more realistic than it was in the past so i'm going to take it slow to try to survive but we'll see if this fall kills me because this is a good like what this is 10 feet or so so let's let's see what happens here oh okay so i survived but only barely wow okay okay well, Thorn, I think you deserve to live for that. Thank you for being the test dummy. Um, now we can test how fast things heal, which I'm actually not really sure how fast they heal. Um, I'm also not sure if I can get down from here at all. Uh, I guess we're going back up. <laughs> Thorn's so unamused by what I just did. He's like, really, dude, you're going to you're going to use me? That's a punching bag test dummy. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Thorn. It's for the people. It's for the people. Yo, pause. Screw that last thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. Man, this game looks really good sometimes. Such a fan of the map. Alright, guys. Uh, I was actually looking at the recording time. Um, it's This is about a good 
spot to end the episode. We got to check out a lot of the things I wanted to check out. We got to check out Grassland Lake, which did have some people hanging out, but obviously everybody needed to scatter and, and go somewhere else because the water quality was low. Uh, we checked out the water quality. We checked out some of the new food and stuff. We checked out the fall damage. Um, so even though Thorne might not appreciate this for the rest of time, I want to see a flying croc. <laughs> so to leave off the episode here, we're going to have a squeaky toy here jump off uh, and see if he can fly. Let's go, Thorn. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I'm a big fan of the Sarko, so I will definitely be jumping back into Thorn in the future. Um, I think this water quality update is huge. Um, the diet side is going to be really fun. I think it's going to be a little bit more interesting checking it out on like Speedy Boy here um, or Albino Ramus, or I'll take a look at some of the other dinosaurs we have uh, to play with. Um, and really kind of mess with the 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 diet system because uh, with the sarco here it's still really just different types of fish uh, and so and those scallops you saw so um, not super diverse as far as what they can eat but it's still much more than just basic fish like it was in the past so that's fantastic big fan of this update uh, big fan of path of titans it's it's impressing me every day and i hope it's impressing you guys too so thanks for joining me on this journey if you guys like this episode please remember to like comment and share this uh and subscribe if you want more dinosaur content it really does help me out i'm really pushing to try to beat this youtube algorithm and get my channel above 1,000 subscribers uh so that i can continue making this content uh hopefully it's a full-time job in the future for you guys to enjoy this content so thanks again and for everybody uh, in the world i hope you guys have a good rest of your day be it morning evening or afternoon or nighttime so enjoy your day guys hope to see you soon peace out